How are you doing? This is David with JTEC and today we're going to show you how to scan a truck. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hook up your connector right here to the port that you have here. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up right here. And just take the two ends and figure out where they match up at. You want to just go ahead and plug it in. Just like that. Okay. Once you've done that, you just turn on the key. Now we can proceed back to there. Once you're connected on the jaw test, we can begin to scan the view. And what's great about these scanners is no, they don't fix the problem for you. No, you can't just fix the vehicle by hitting a couple buttons on a computer, but it gives you a good area to start in. You know, it's a good indicator of what the actual problem may actually be. Uh, you may get a cylinder misfire. At least now you know you're looking at one cylinder instead of trying to figure out which one it is. So it's very helpful as a scan tool. Now the computer, it couldn't connect. So we're going to have to manually enter the VIN. The VIN can be found right here on the door jam of the vehicle number is what VIN stands for. So we're going to go ahead and we'll put the VIN in and we can decode it. And now that once we've got that, we're going to have a couple options as far as what the engine may be and that's going to be based off of the fact that multiple motors may have been put in the same kind of vehicle based on its application and what it was doing. So we are going to choose our Once it reads the vehicle, we'll be able to get the fault codes. It's what reading fault codes is. Another thing that's great about the scan tool is, is not only can it help you read the codes to figure out what the check engine light means, but you can also go into the data stream and you can look at the different levels of like what the coolant temperature is, what the low pressure is, what the oil temperature is. You know, it can give you all kinds of information on you know how much the, uh, what the speed is, what the engine RPM is, uh, the fuel levels for each fuel injector or injector. You know what I mean? So. It gives us a lot of uh, a lot of information that otherwise you'd have to hook up all kinds of gauges and things too. But these new engines have so many sensors in them that the scan tool actually helps us because it can read all those sensors all at one time. It can give us just a big map and graph out all the different uh, specifications that the vehicle is running at, and if it is or if it is is or is not within specifications. So now we can go in. So right now, now it's reading the fault codes and it's going to give us if there is a check engine light. Um, sometimes you even get a code if there isn't a check engine light. In those cases, it's usually an inactive code. It's not something that actually hinders the engine's performance. But a service engine soon light uh, is not necessarily a, a DTC or diagnostic trouble code, but it is a, um, a good indicator that you need to change your oil or you, know, you may have uh, passed any other kind of preventive maintenance step that is programmed in your vehicle's ECM.